Your uh, your defense just seems to come together early in the preseason. Well, it's early. Um, obviously, we've you know we've had one good result. Uh, not that it's really results driven necessarily in uh, in the preseason. Um, a tougher outing last night, but you know we, you learn a lot from uh, uh, from either result, and that's the biggest thing that you know we're we're, we're pulling. Uh, the good and the bad out of uh, out of each of the team performances, and you know, really, you know, working to to pull the good and the bad out of uh, you know out of individual performances and evaluate it that way as well. So we're making progress. We have a long way to go. Normally, you have a handful of new players to start a season, but uh, yeah. what challenges are involved in having all new players to start uh, a season? Well, there's new challenges. There's also new opportunities uh, that yeah, you know, you have to take advantage. Uh, of the opportunity side, you know, everybody comes in with, uh, you know, to a certain degree with a clean slate. Obviously, we have, you know, we have some preconceived uh, ideas of what a player uh, brings to the table and who he is. Uh, but, you know, each and every player also has the opportunity to make a first first impression um, and, uh, you know, and grow his role. So that's the way that uh, that we've approached it. Um, and, you know, obviously early in the preseason, all of that's a work in progress. Mark Giordano, you coached against him for years. What's it like to coach him now? Much, uh, much more fun coaching uh, on, on the same bench. Now he's he's just such a quality. I mean, I think everybody knows the quality of player at, that he is, and for sure, anybody uh, that spent any time around him knows and understands the the quality of person that he is. Um, tremendous to to have in our dressing room. Uh, you know, not only in, in his role that he plays for us on the ice, but in a leadership role, uh, so very important. Is there a story you made about Mark since he's joined the team? Just having the, the opportunity to spend time with him, uh, just the composure that he has as an individual uh, is one of the things that really stands out for, you know, for me. And I've you know, I've heard all of those things, uh, but until you actually get an opportunity to spend time uh, personally around, you know, any individual, um, it's really hard to understand just the, you know, the depth that uh, that he brings. How valuable is it to have, and it probably seems like a silly question, but how valuable is it to have somebody like that when you're building a team from the ground up? Very valuable, not only, you know, not only is not in his knowledge of the game, um, but he's extremely detailed. He's very competitive. Um, he's, you know, he's always very, very well prepared. That's one of the things, you know, that I've seen uh, right from day one uh, in training camp. He's extremely well prepared um, and is always working at, you know, at a piece of his game. Um, you know, nothing is left to chance in terms of the effort that he's putting in out there. There's a thought process to it. Um, and those types of things carry over to, to individuals, you know, around them, whether it's a younger player or, or another veteran player. Those things are, are infectious and contagious. One organization for that long. And, and it, you know, said, I'd like to finish my career here. Did you do anything in the off season that it helped him try and, you know, wrap his head around the new opportunity? Or, or did you just know that was going to come with time? No, I, you know, that's... Honestly, that's that's something that you know I'm sure for him was you know individually uh, it it had to be challenging. It's really hard to you know for for anybody to you know put ourselves in his shoes in that situation. What I can tell you is you know the uh, the person that came in and and saw us in Seattle during the expansion draft. Um, you know, not that many hours after learning, you know, that he was going to be chosen uh, was just unbelievably impressive. And the way he was able to um, handle that entire situation, um, process everything, and then, um, you know, in that short amount of time have, have this positive outlook uh, and an excitement, you know, a genuine excitement uh, as to being part of something new in Seattle. I found that most impressive. It was, uh, and and you know we didn't have a chance to spend a whole lot of time around one another through that expansion draft period. But you know there were a few minutes there, and just uh, you know seeing him interact with you know some of his new teammates that were there uh, really said it all. With your coaching experience and everywhere you've been and everywhere you've been the last few years, even some time with Team Canada at the Worlds, what excites you the most about this challenge for you at this point? 
every every opportunity is a little bit different. Uh, that's one of the things I've learned is to value each and every opportunity, great and great and small. Um, the first thing that comes to mind with this opportunity is is the number of outstanding people uh, that you know I have an opportunity to to work with on a daily basis, uh, and the organization I have a chance to be part of. That's one of the things that we are all uh, really conscious of. Um, and it doesn't take very long to, to figure that out uh, as you join the organization, just to understand the quality and depth of the people in the organization. That's the foundation for uh, the work that's going to take place for us to become successful. So for me, that's, that's, you know, that's, uh, that's the number one thing. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.